Hey y'all, Jim here from Recording King. I'm going to talk to you today about installing the LR Bags M1 Active Pickup into the Justin Towns Earl Signature Guitar. Um, I'm not going to go through every step in the process, um, but I definitely want to highlight some little things that are unique to this instrument. So here's the M1 Active pickup. Sound hole pickup that's gonna drop right into the sound hole of the instrument. It has a volume control, batteries on the back, comes with the end pin jack to the mini plug that goes right into the side of the M1A. You get a little baggie with some goodies here, some cable routing clips, some extra pole pieces, and an Allen wrench. And last but not least, you get an extra battery to go along with it. So here's something important that's specific to this instrument. Obviously, we need to take off the strings. So what we need to do is make some marks that locate where this bridge belongs. Um, the bridge position is very important for intonation. So what I'm gonna use is some painter's tape. I'm gonna do like a little piece there. Another piece over here. So we kind of have like this little notch that it goes into. Then we can do the same thing on this side. The next thing that we're gonna do is remove the strings. And before we do that, let's take this piece of foam that was in your box from the pickup, and we're gonna slide this underneath the tailpiece. A little bit of work to get it in there, but definitely worth it because once you remove the strings, there's no chance of damaging the top of your instrument. So let's take a look at the end pin jack. Um, when it comes out of the box, you're gonna need to adjust it more or less like I have it here. Let's take off these components that are going to be on the outside of the guitar because we're gonna have to fish it through the inside and through the hole. So we got those off almost. All right, so from this washer to the end of the thicker portion of the threaded shaft here, it should be three quarters of an inch roughly. It may vary slightly from guitar to guitar, but really what you want is you want this thicker part of the barrel to be contained inside the half inch hole, and then the thinner part protruding where the nice little cap is gonna go on at the end. So let's get this jack installed. You're gonna go in through the sound hole. It's a tight fit on this guitar, so you can't reach in really well, but it can be done. I usually use a screwdriver. I'll pass it through the hole in the end block to just kind of catch the inside of the jack, and then I can get it to come on through. Going to pop on the flat washer. You're gonna use a some type of wrench or a socket to tighten that down. And then finally, you'll put the cosmetic bit on the end here. And that's installed. Let's talk about the fun part now, and unfortunately, the not so fun part. Um, the LR Bags M1 Active pickup is sized for a standard sound hole. The Justin Towns Earl Signature model has a smaller sound hole aperture that's really integral to the design of the guitar and to get the tone that Justin wanted and what he, what he knew. So we have to make some modifications. If you were to look over here, you can see this foot that slides up and down on a little channel and it matches the top. I have on the other side that I modified where you can see that it's clipped or shaved, I shaved it down with some sandpaper. So now you can see that it is not exactly the same as the top and we need to make this accommodation to fit it inside the sound hole properly. 
All right, now we're on to the fun part where we can finally put the pickup in the sound hole. So what I do is I remove the screws entirely from here so I can pull these feet down pretty much as far as they'll go. I'm gonna come in from this side and there we go. So what you can do at this point is you can reach in and you can kind of pull those feet up so they're snug against the top. You're gonna to grab your screws again. I'd recommend sticking a finger underneath just to make sure that it's got a good solid purchase. And finally, oops, there we go. We're just gonna screw this in until it's snug, which it is there. And then we'll do the same over here on this side. The final step is probably one of the more difficult ones now, unfortunately, is you have to reach in, grab your cable, and you have to do some real contorting. Actually, we should loosen this up so you can move it around in there. All right, so now I got, I got the cable with the plug. I'm gonna reach in and I'm gonna find the jack. I'm gonna find the jack and there you go. It's plugged in now. I'm gonna tighten this down in its resting spot. And all we have left now is to pop that bridge back on. Um, <clears throat> I got it over here. You have your spots, your markers that show you exactly where it goes. You put new strings on it or reattach your existing strings and you are ready to go.